Hi, today we're going to talk to you about how to install a quarter turn throttle by Lloyd's on a Victory. This is a Crossroads, but Cross Country is the same. Most of the Victories are the same on the throttle side on how you do this. But I'm going to show you how to install this little simple part. Um, reason you'd have a quarter turn throttle, I get a lot of guys I see on the forums talked about how if they have carpal tunnel, they don't want to turn the throttle as far. So that's kind of uh, one of the things. The other thing is it, it reduces the distance so you supposedly can shift faster and take off quicker and all that type of stuff if you're into the high performance end. This is a real simple part. Uh, it's kind of scary when you're messing with the throttle cables and getting everything right, but I'm going to show you it's not that big a deal. So I'll show you, come around the other side and I'll show you what to do. Okay, the first thing you're going to want to do is take your cheese wedge off. I think most of you know how to do that. Just kind of pull it. It'll come right off. Now, what you want to do is your throttle cables, which I'll try to show you. It's a little bit hard here. But up here are your throttle cables. This is what, if you turn the throttle, you can see that moving. The cables are in here. There's a jam nut. There's a lock nut here, and right above it on the top, there's another lock nut. You want to loosen those lock nuts. So they're just a 10 millimeter. Just get on that. Loosen those up because what you need to do is you need to get the cables up on the handlebars. You need to get them with a little bit of slack. This is probably the hardest part of this is to get up in there and get your fingers up in there. So, okay, so you're going to want to back that jam nut off a little bit. On the other side, you also have a nut. You want to just kind of loosen that a little bit. Okay, and then that, it's kind of hard to, so if you can see, I don't know if you can see it, but this will now have some slack in it. You can move those. So that's basically what you want to do. You want to get those so you have a little bit of slack in your cable here, and then I'll show you up on the top what, why we need to do that and then what the next step is. Okay, so what we're going to do, first thing I did is I put a cover on the gas tank. So if you happen to drop anything, if you got an old towel or something, cover up your gas tank. So what we're going to do is you have a couple screws here that hold this bracket onto your actual switch housing. So they're just Phillips screws. So you just want to take those out. Nothing's going to fall apart or anything. Just take those screws out. Because that's going to enable us to get the switch housing kind of moved back. See now that kind of scoots back here a little bit. Just disconnect that bracket. Now you have two screws underneath that hold the switch housing here together. Again, Phillips screws. You got the one there. And you have another one on the front side. So they're just long Phillips screws. So just take those out. You can see everything's loose now, so it's moving. And then this kind of comes apart. Nothing's going to fly apart, nothing like that. You can see there's a little bit of slop. It's kind of hard to see now, but the throttle cable has a little bit of slop in it where we've loosened it, so it's kind of loose up here. So basically, I'm going to kind of pull this off the end of the handlebar. Okay, it gives you something to work with. Now, this is an Avon grip on here. So with an Avon grip, you're going to use part number HR2 of the, the throttle uh, of the Lloyd's part number. So what you're going to do is this piece actually kind of comes off here. So just to show you, kind of has a gear on it, and this separate piece is what keeps your, your throttle cables. You have a push and a pull cable. You really can't mix those up because they're all still attached. So if you take this off or it falls apart, you really can't mix it up. So I just kind of pull it off to the side there. And all this thing does is just kind of snap over the edge like that. That's all you really got to do. If you can see that, it just kind of goes on there. 
Now, you may have to monkey around a little bit with getting more, um, getting the cables looser because you just have to wrap the cable around there. So depending on how much slack you need, this is gonna go down. I'll try to just get it in here for you. I'll take the one cable out and show you. This is kind of hard to see with a camera. But this is just gonna go down in here like that with the throttle cable attached. So you just need to get enough slack on there and make sure that when you put this in there, you have enough clearance inside of here. Sometimes I've seen where guys have to kind of grind that out a little bit because this is too thick. So you want to make sure that moves in and out of there real loose so you don't want anything binding. And again, if you don't have enough cable here to, to put this on, you need to go down in the bottom and loosen it up and get a little bit more of an adjustment to get that on there. So I'll get that done here and I'll show you in a second. Okay, so we have the ring on the end of the grip. So you wanna just kinda of slide your grip back on, kinda of position this up where you gotta go. Now I've done a bunch of these and sometimes they go right on and sometimes it's a nightmare. So you wanna put your one cable back in the connector and kinda of just get this so it all goes together, so it's all in there right now. So, you wanna get this part, if you can see that here, you wanna get this part down in the, in the connector. Now, the one thing you can do is on the back of your um, switch housing here, you'll see these nuts back here. These are cable, you can loosen these up and tighten these a little bit right here. Try to get this out of the way. Right here, you can get this and adjust this, and it'll give you a tiny bit of slack if you need it. But what I do is I kind of get that up in position, twist back on the throttle. It's kind of hard, you almost need two hands here. But you're gonna pop that connector. I know it's hard to see with the camera. Pop that connector. In that fitting. And you can see how it just kind of pops in, it just kind of slides in. Get your cable in the slot. And that's basically, for the most part, that's all there is to it. Now, you just want to make sure that stuff's lined up. I kind of got my switch housing here twisted, so make sure you get that where you need to go. But just make sure your cables are in the right spot. You can kind of put this on like that, just kind of hold it and give your throttle a turn and make sure it's not binding up. That one you can see goes pretty easy. So when we take it off, you know, that cable's kinked over just a little bit. Just want to make sure you get that all lined up real good. So you're just going to put that housing back on and put your screws back in. And something I like to do is each time you put a screw in, you want to make sure everything still kind of works, like make sure the throttle still turns. That way if you do have something out of whack, you're going to know, hey, when I put that last screw in, that's where the problem was. So you're going to put that in. I got this kind of twisted around here. You can see I'm going to have to fix that. but. What you got to do is you, you're just going to put your bracket back on, put your screws back in, tighten everything up, make sure your throttle works, and then you can make sure you tighten the jam nuts up down on the motor on your throttle cables. And if you need to fine tune a little bit, you can go right here on these adjusters here. So for the most part, that's how you install that.